In the previous video lectures, we studied the detailed steps involved in VDJ recombination at both light and heavy chain locus. We studied that, in case of light chain locus only one gene rearrangement event results in the formation of variable region exon. Variable region exon in light chain locus is formed by joining randomly selected V and J gene segments. In case of heavy chain locus, two gene rearrangement events result in the formation of variable region exon. Here, variable region exon is formed by joining a V, D and J gene segments. For VDJ recombination, it is very important that the DNA rearrangements take place at the correct locations. In this video lecture, we will find out how these DNA rearrangements are guided. Rearrangement of V, D and J gene segments is guided by DNA sequences known as Recombination signal sequences, abbreviated as RSS. Recombination signal sequences are non-coding DNA sequences. They are found directly adjacent to the points at which recombination takes place. They function as signals for the recombination process that rearranges the genes and gene segments. Recombination signal sequences are located 3 prime side of each V gene segment, 5 prime side of each J gene segment, and on both sides, that is 3 prime and 5 prime of each D gene segment. So, here we saw that recombination signal sequences are found adjacent to the points at which recombination takes place. Please note that the 5' prime and 3' prime designation in these video lectures is shown only for the upper strand of the DNA. Each recombination signal sequence consists of three main components. First component is a heptamer, that is, a conserved block of seven nucleotides. This heptamer component is always present adjacent to the coding sequence. Heptamer sequence is followed by the second component which is a non-conserved region known as the spacer. Spacer is either 12 or 23 base pair long. Spacer is followed by the third component, which is a conserved block of 9 nucleotides. Thus, it is a nonomer. Thus, each recombination signal sequence is a heptamer, spacer, nonomer sequence. And, depending on the spacer we have two types of recombination signal sequences. These are A recombination signal sequence with a 12 base pair spacer And a recombination signal sequence with a 23 base pair spacer Let's have a look on the locations of these RSS in immunoglobulin loci. In case of kappa chain locus, RSS with 23 base pair spacer is present adjacent to the V gene segment at its 3' prime side. At the 5' prime side of J gene segment RSS with 12 base pair spacer is present. In case of lambda chain locus these locations are reversed. That is, RSS with 12 base pair spacer is present at 3' prime side of the V gene segment and RSS with 23 base pair spacer is present at 5' prime side of the J gene segment. In case of heavy chain locus, RSS with 23 base pair spacer is present each at 3' prime side of the V gene segment, and 5' prime side of the J gene segment. RSS with 12 base pair spacer is present on the both sides of the D gene segment. A rule is followed during the VDJ recombination. A gene segment, flanked by a RSS with a 12 base pair spacer, can be joined only to the gene segment flanked by a RSS with a 23 base pair spacer. This rule is known as 12 by 23 rule. So, according to this joining rule, 
Recombination can only occur between ARSS with 12 base pair spacer and RSS with 23 base pair spacer. This rule ensures that, at light chain locus, a V gene segment joins only to a J gene segment, not to other V gene segment. Similarly, in case of heavy chain locus, a J gene segment cannot join to the V gene segment. This is because both V and J gene segments have 23 base pair spacer. Thus, this rule ensures that the V, D and J gene segments join in proper order.